Hi guys, welcome back to my new channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my new channel. I'm Lindsay, the Housewife Historian, and today we're talking Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is my new channel, Housewives 411. If you don't know what happened to me, go check it out in my last video. i um, having some issues with YouTube, and so I want to keep my content free for you guys. I don't want to have to go to subscription base, so I'm literally rebuilding my YouTube channel from the bottom up so please a free way to support me and my channel is to hit the follow button like and turn those notifications on let's get into the real housewives of atlanta honey kissing cousins if you guys haven't checked out my spotify uh podcast housewives 411 go check that out as well because of the fact that i do a two-part series on ralph and the kissing cousin courtney we got a lot of tea from the housewives um andy the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I did an hour-long interview with him. That's on my other Housewives uh, channel and also my podcast. So if you didn't check that, go listen to it. It's a really good two-part series. Um, but let's get into this. Of course, everything in this video is alleged. And we are talking Real Housewives of Atlanta. If you guys don't know, have you been watching since Ralph and Drew entered the scene? I think it's about been about three years. The very first season that Ralph and Drew were on the scene... Ralph had taken off and went to somewhere for three days. He didn't call home. He didn't write. He didn't send a smoke signal, SOS, n nothing for three whole days. Now, I had to give you guys, in my opinion, as anyone that has a partner and children, to disappear and be unreachable for three days is completely unacceptable. And as a just general person, I don't know if I could take off for three days and shut my phone off and disconnect from my partner and my children and not have any concern that something it could happen and I wouldn't be reachable. Now, especially if it's just me and myself, if I've literally just taken off somewhere and it's just, just me, right? Think about that, guys. So uh, we have Ralph, he takes off it, for three days, the first season, and this is something producers continue to return to and eventually after kind of, it seems like hounding him, which he shouldn't even have to hound him, but several times asking him like, where were you? He finally says he was in Tampa. Tampa, Florida. Now, this all kind of makes everyone's viewers are like, Tampa, Florida? Tampa, Florida? Like, what was you doing in Tampa, Florida? Well, he never really said what he was doing in Tampa, Florida, except he just said that he was clearing his mind and the ocean was there and he went there with his father as a child and so he decided to take back off and take a trip to Tampa for three days and clear his mind. I was like, and so was the rest of the audience, okay? Because for a couple of years, there's been a lot of jokes online, on the internet. It was always jokes about Tampa, jokes about Tampa, jokes about Tampa. Now, fast forward, kissing cousin Courtney arrives on the scene. Enter exhibit A. First of all, when she entered the picture, I got a weird vibe from her. If you guys know me, if you follow me, sometimes I have this way of just predicting how people are going to move or how they're going to act. I think I've just studied so many personality types. I've been around so many different personality types, um, including crazy and evil people um, in prison. So, yeah, uh, I know how people are going to move. Especially if they're trying to be deceitful. I also, you know, if you guys know me, you know, like, what I do for a living. I work with people that are in recovery or people that I'm that could still be having a lot of um, behaviors that could be manipulative. So, I'm on to you, Courtney. I saw you coming a mile away. Now, here was the thing. She was, go she was going with the cousin thing, which was pretty smart. Okay. But the I go into in my second, my two part series on my podcast, Housewives World on One, about why I'm really uncomfortable whenever she, whenever they have a dinner party at Ralph and Drew's house, kissing cousin Courtney arrives and she doesn't bring anyone that she's dating. She doesn't bring any man that has any potential. She brings her baby daddy and her child is like, I'm pretty sure, close to fully being grown. That gave me a red flag. Number two, baby daddy knew Drew from the days back in L.A. And uh, Drew's first baby dad, I don't know if he was her husband or not, he was a very, very, very big yayo dealer, okay? So that kind of made me, like, my ears perk up a little bit, right? And I go into all that on my podcast. Now, when... <laughs> Drew and Ralph were having these issues. Um, they filed for divorce three days after the cameras and production wrapped for the Real Housewives of Atlanta that season. 
I've talked about this before, guys. The production was like, knock, knock, boom. Okay, uh, move over. If you think that we're going to let you guys file for divorce and we're not going to be here to film it, you're crazy. Get ready. We're setting up production. Come on. Seriously, that's what happened. There's no, they, they literally showed up three days later and said, like, we're filming this. So some of the scenes and some of the confessionals that we get from Courtney are a little bit much, right? Like, okay, Drew kissing a girl. I don't understand what was going on there. Even when that was posted in real time, I was very confused because I hadn't heard anything about this girl and Drew. I mean, obviously, I don't think anyone in a relationship, if you're in a relationship with someone that's not an open relationship i don't know why you would be kissing anyone and i surely don't know why the hell you would be putting it on instagram unless y'all were already broken up unless unless you had already been cheating and she was like f you and i'm gonna go kiss a girl because i like it i also have a southern accent that comes out sometimes <laughs> when i'm feeling crazy um yeah basically i mean it, that's kind of what it felt like to me. But because Drew, trying to keep her family together, probably doesn't want her kids to hear about this one day, probably doesn't want the whole church and her mom and everyone else to know that this man's been out here cheating with his damn cousin in Tampa. Because, yes, don't think that we don't find out at the reunion that guess where cousin Courtney's from. Class? Where's she from? Tampa, Florida? If you guess Tampa, Florida, you got an A+. Because she's from Tampa, Florida. Now tell me, hypothetically, that would mean Ralph moved this woman up here from Tampa because he's been seeing her since they came on the show when he went to Tampa and was completely distracted for three whole days and didn't answer his phone, talk to Drew, let Drew know where he was at. I mean, that is insane to me. And it was insane to a lot of other viewers. People are like, what the? That makes no sense. I would be furious. And my point is, I don't care how mad anyone is, how much you have to clear your mind. I don't care if you're at the beach, the greatest place in the world. If you are without your family and kids and you are completely by yourself, three days is a very long time to go without talking to them. I'm going to tell you literally by like day two, you're going to be like literally at least shooting a text message, right? Something. Okay. And who knows, it could have been longer. Maybe she just saved face because she was embarrassed about the way. Because here's what happened. This is what people don't understand. I, I don't know if there's been such a um, an epidemic of, of people that suffer with narcissistic uh, tendencies. And you have a lot of women who are smart and educated and have a really good job. And maybe they've been through a lot in life and they've, they've overcome. And they somehow end up in this sick, toxic relationship right with in my experience with women that i know that are my friends from school or college or whatever not people that i work with people that i know who are start strong smart women educated women overcome a lot and they end up somehow in a relationship with in a toxic relationship with a narcissist and so they're embarrassed because they're like how did I overcome all this shit in my life and like do all this hard work to get my life together in all these areas and then I somehow after everything that I know about men and I end up with this narcissist who privately is probably emotionally maybe physically ab abusive behind closed doors and we cover for them because we are embarrassed i know when you break it down it doesn't sound logical but that is the mind of a victim of someone who's being abused okay so i think that there could i think that it could have been way way worse than what we know what bravo let us see what what Drew told us, but a lot of people are outraged over um, the whole reunion, right? Especially the Drew and Ralph. So if you guys want to hear more about this, make sure that you comment. Make sure that you guys hit that like button. Follow this channel. This is my new channel for my Housewives 411. Spread the word for me, guys. Please hit the like button um, and let's get this channel going so I can keep giving you guys the tea and the gossip. And don't forget to check out my podcast and my um, my blog because I can put anything on my blog. That's what I found out. I can literally put anything on my blog. So yeah, go check that out. 
uh, www.lindsaylenzi.co.com.